Previously released on the Xbox 360, Dead Rising was a big deal when it came out. When we first laid eyes on it, we all said, wow, here's a truly next-gen experience. The amount of zombies on screen was very impressive. Well, it's been two and a half years since the original release, and we now have Dead Rising on less powerful hardware and, not surprisingly, there are much fewer zombies. Thankfully though, a lot of the fun is still intact. The general setup of Dead Rising is this. You play as photojournalist Frank West, and you're trapped in a mall with a horde of hungry zombies. You'll need to unravel the mystery of the zombie outbreak and rescue survivors waiting around the shopping center. The story is completely nonsensical. There are elements here that are just too much of a stretch, even for video game logic. A lot of the bosses are human characters that can inexplicably take hundreds of bullets to the chest before finally dying. Then there's the janitor who can show you shortcuts to different areas of the mall. If you tip him, what kind of a greedy bastard is worried about money at a time like this? Plus the amount that he considers to be a nice tip is $2,000? The absolute ridiculousness of Dead Rising makes it feel a bit dated. Have the writers at Capcom really not grown from the original Resident Evil days? Anyway, the game has been modified for the Wii, and some of the changes are even for the better. There's still the idea that everything happens over the course of three days, but there are now multiple save slots. If you missed something in the 360 version and the day ended, then there was no way you could redo some of those events because you only had one save file. This is finally fixed, and the game is better for it. Also, haters of Otis should know that his annoying phone calls to interrupt your zombie slaying have been taken out. That's what you get for being annoying, Otis! One of the more baffling changes is that the whole photography element has been taken out of the game. Frank is still a photojournalist, and you still see his camera hanging around his neck, but you don't take any pictures. This does switch the focus to zombie killing, which has always been the game's strong point, but it's just a weird decision to remove a feature that was so integral in the original design. Of course, the Wii is not as powerful as the 360, so the graphics have taken a hit. There are only a few zombies on screen, and they often pop in when they're just a few feet away. The levels are sparser, and there are a lot of times when it doesn't seem like the zombies feel like attacking you. This is a problem. I don't expect the Wii to have the same amount of enemies on screen, but it's pretty ridiculous to just walk around in these wide open spaces without the danger of being attacked. You lose tension, and the game feels a bit easier. Pointer control has been added for aiming guns, and it feels good. The same crazy amount of weapons and costumes are in the game. Pretty much anything that looks like it might be used as a weapon in the mall is a weapon, and even some items you might not have thought of. This has always been one of the major draws of Dead Rising. So despite presentation issues, the core gameplay is still fun. It's a very addictive premise. The mall is your zombie killing playground. Capcom did cut a lot of corners, but fans of shooting zombies will still have fun with it. And chances are, if you like video games, you like shooting zombies. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com. Oh,